Zero FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's go through the 60 menus that are on the Exuma firmware version 19. When you press menu, the M button, you'll see at the bottom here it says 1.60 and that means this is menu number one out of 60. So we'll go past the obvious ones. So step is your frequency step. When you change channel, this is the, gonna be the gap between the channels. And that's number one. Two is the TX power. That's an easy one. Now to change anything, just press menu. Then go up and down with your selection. We're gonna select medium, select, then exit, or just keep moving down to the next menu. So if we don't exit, we're on menu number two, we'll go down one. RX DCS, that's receiver digital coded squelch. RX CTCSS, that's the one you're gonna use more often for your repeater. And if we go menu, for example, go up and down. Say we choose 94.8 for a two meter repeater. And we've selected it. And now when we transmit, actually when we're receiving, it will need to be running that tone for you to hear it. If we go to the, we don't tend to use that one, transmit DCS and then transmit. This is the one you'll use the most, it's a transmit. This is what opens up your repeater. If you go menu, up and down, say 94.8, again for two meter repeater, select, exits. When we transmit, you're gonna transmit that tone. Generally the receive one, I hardly ever use that. And we go back to menu and it does keep its place. So number six, keep going down. Direction, that's your minus and plus shift, again for a repeater. So you'll go menu, up or down. There's plus shift, minus and off. Okay, we'll leave it off for now. Now you do need to know the shift amount. So your average repeater, if I go menu, that's your offset. If I go menu, your average two meter repeater is gonna be naught, put three noughts in then 600. Press menu to save. Okay, that's 600. Now, if it was a 70 centimeter repeater, it tends to be 7.600. So we'll go menu. Then start, just make sure we're doing this right. Menu again, menu. Probably have to put in a naught. Naught, naught, seven, 600. Bit fiddly with the noughts. Once you've got it, press menu and you've got it. That's the 70 centimeter one. All right, let's go down to number nine, narrow and wide band for FM. Scrambler, you're not really gonna use that. Busy CL stands for on and off. So it means that if the channel is busy, it won't let you transmit. Keep going down. So that's a compand off. I'm gonna read the menu on that one. Or should I say manual? Compander, compressor, expander, allows signals with a large dynamic range to be transmitted over facilities that have a smaller dynamic range capability, improves audio quality. Both radios should use this. Move down to number, oh, let's go back menu. It does time out. Number 13 is where you're choosing your mode. So you go menu and you go up. You can choose AM, USB, FM. We'll leave it on FM and then click menu. And we'll go down to number 14. That's add channels to scan list one. I don't really use scan list. I'll have to learn about that. Scan list two. Menu 16 is channel save. So when you programmed a channel in on the VFO, to go to VFO, you would go F, then VFO. That's memory mode, F. So you're going F number three, F3, F3. You know when you're in memory mode because it says M6 and you've got the name there. So if you're in that memory channel in VFO, there's a random frequency there and you can put all the settings in shifts and tones. Go menu, 16, then press menu again, and it gives you the option to save it. Now if you go up and down, you look for a blank channel going the wrong way there. Keep 
going. I've got a lot of channels in this one now. There's a blank one. Go menu. And then it says sure to sort of confirm. And you save that there. Okay, let's keep going down. 17 is delete it. Channel name. So if you go menu, choose a channel you want to name. So we haven't named this one, have we? Channel 23, menu. Go up and down with a name. Enter with the M. Up and down, you get capitals and numbers and everything. Again, enter. And then keep going enter till you get to the end, I believe. And then you go sure. Let's go down. Next menu, 19 is your scan list. Selects which channel is used by memory scanner. I just don't tend to use scan list. I should do really. Scan list one and two, and it's actually showing what's in the scan list. Maybe it puts them in by default. Scan reverse carrier. There's actually three selections on that. I'll read what the manual says. Resume scan after signal disappears. Timeout. Resume scan after five seconds. And stop. Stop after receiving a signal. So you're sort of deciding what it does as it's scanning. 23 are your side buttons, so F1. You can decide what these do. Let's go menu, and you can choose from a long list. FM radio, for example, select that. And that was a short press. You've got long presses as well. If we exit and just short press, there's your radio. Normally it's down here, the radio, just the, the, the zero, you hold it, or you go F0 and you get radio. Anyway, okay, uh, menu, and you've got settings there for short press and long press. Let's go down through. You can set what the M what the M does on a long press. So let's just do it. Let's go menu. Let's, let's do scan, okay? We'll select it. Actually, that's the wrong one. Long press, we'll go menu, then we'll go up. Power. I think power is quite a good one. Menu. Exit. So now when we long press the, we're changing the power, you can see it changing there. Okay, menu. Let's go to 28, key lock. You can actually set it to auto lock the keypad. 29, TX timeout, that's for when you're talking. Battery saver, well, the manual says, battery save option, the rate between active time and sleep time. 31, mic gain or mic sensitivity. Mic bar is on at the moment. Channel display. So now I like name and frequency. If we exit, look. Go into memory mode. F then 2 is memory mode. No, get it right. F3 is memory. F3. Okay, that's memory. Oh, not a very good memory name, is it? There you go. There's a memory there, and it's showing both. If you're in the me in that menu, you can change that. If you go menu, up and down, look, just the name, channel number, frequency, but I like both. Okay, 34 is boot up message. I, you know, it's up to you what you want to do with that. Battery TXT percentage. So it will show the percentage as well as the battery icon. 36 backlight on and you can change the time if you go menu you can give it times or you can just have it off or on 37 now it's like a dim thing at the moment when the screen goes off you can tell it to still have a dim screen you set the value there and there's a max as well that's again backlight, you can get it to activate with the TX or the RX. Beep on and off, Roger on and off. That, this makes sure that at the end of your conversation you don't get that squelchy noise. That's 42. 43, that's the same but when you're on a repeater. What we got here, 44. Okay, that's an interesting one, so I'll go menu. 44 says one key core channel lets you quickly 
switch to channel with nine call button. Okay. 45 DTMF communication radio ID, DTMF code 46, DTMF code at the end, transmission 47, 48 sets if UP, what's it say, UP code and or DW code to be transmitted, okay. 40, okay, I'm losing the numbers here, 40, that was 48, this is 49, DTMF side tone switch lets you hear transmitted tones in radio speaker. All right, I get it, you can mute the speakers uh, with that annoying DTMF sound. Uh, 50, DTMF decoding response. Uh, then you've got 51, we're getting near the end now. A lot on DTMF there, DTMF auto reset time. 52, DTMF preload time. 53, enables DTMF decoder. List of DTMF contacts on 54. 55, displays DTMF codes received by radio in the middle of the screen. That's good. That's on anyway. AM fix, that's the important one. If you want to have good a, uh, you know, AM air band, turn this on. That's 56. Definitely important one now. 57, voice TX activation. So Vox, base, basically Vox. Uh, then you've got 58, battery voltage and percentage. 59 is the dual, we talked about this in another video, uh, which is basically your crossband type settings. You've got a uh, few selections there. Dual RX respond, main only, main TX, dual RX TX, and it's displayed up here at the top, uh, which mode you'll be in and crossband, dual RX respond. Uh, best to read that in the manual. I have made a video on this. Okay, exit. And then 60, you're back to number one, which is the squelch. You go menu, up and down, set your squelch, about three is about right, exit. So yeah, hopefully that'll help you. But to me, the basics of what everyone actually does like to use are they like to know they can go F5, get onto the spectrum. The thin line that you can see there, they like to move that up and down because that's like a squelch. So you hold down F, or you hold down scan. Hold down scan, so that's like a spectrum squelch. Uh, to, if you want to change the mode, you're pressing the zero. AM is the zero look. FM. AM, FM, USB, that's all bands. Put it back to FM. Then frequency step is six. Change that. If you want to go, if you want to just press, let me have a look now. Free, yeah, press five, you can type in a frequency. So we go 27, but then remember the dot is the star. Then put some numbers in and press M. And you're on 28 megs, 27 megs. You can go up and down with that as well. But you can also use the one and the four to change the bandwidth shown in the spectrum, which is at the bottom. That's the one is up and the four is down. Okay, and then I'll, even then you can press PTT and it brings you into this window. You're still same frequency. Then you get the chance of adjusting, pressing the M button, these different parameters to make it sound perfect for you. And you adjust them with the up and down arrow and to exit that, just press exit and you're back in spectrum like so. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot, isn't there? For, for you know, such a... a, a cheap radio with USB-C charging. Everything works and sounds great on it. I agree that when you transmit, you need to make sure you're not giving out spurious em emissions and transmitting where you're not legally allowed to transmit. So just be careful. Otherwise, what a bargain, you know? And thanks to Exuma for his instruction manual, his work, and, um, and these fantastic radios. And I've got a feeling these are gonna be very popular for many, many years, I bought this one, believe it or not, about a year ago, and no one was interested. Uh, and it was called Warui. I liked the design of it. Uh, when I used it, I just thought, yeah, it's okay. It's different. I didn't think much of it. But the second they brought out the firmware hacks, they've gone crazy. Everyone's buying them. A bit like the X6100, when that was first realized that it could be, could be hacked. Bye for now. 7-3. Thanks for watching my channel. All the best.